So in this video, we are going to create a new inventoryable item. We're going to look at the reminder list and looking at our stock status report. Then we're going to order some products and receive them into inventory. So that's a lot we're going to cover in this video, but um, it's all things to do with inventory. So let's go ahead and start by creating a new item. Let's go to the company area and click on items and services. In the lower left hand corner, we're going to go to item and new because we want to create a new item. And we're going to make this an inventoryable part. And the item name is going to be cabinet 119. Uh, it's a sub item and we're going to say of cabinets because that's a grouping that we have. And we could put in a manufacturer's part number, and this is just a digit for in this case. Our cost is $169, and we're going to book that to the cost of goods sold. In the sales price, we're going to say that's $225, and it's taxable. And the income account is going to be construction materials. We're going to say that the reorder point is going to be 15 and we have zero on hand as of today all right so that's what we need to do to set up a new part or new inventoryable item uh, this would be anything that we would sell or actually have stored in inventory so let's click ok one of the things we want to do now is turn on our uh, reminders so from the edit menu, we are going to go down to preferences. And I'm going to find reminders over here on the left. And I'm going to just click on this checkbox and click OK. They haven't been turned on before. So I'm going to go ahead and close down this file. So I'm going to go ahead and do a file, close company. And we're going to wait patiently while it finalizes closing and gives us a prompt that we can open up a new file. There we go. Since that was the last company file used, I'm just going to click on lesson three here and click on open. And we're going to click OK. And notice our reminders list comes up. So if we go ahead and look at inventory to reorder, Cabinets 119 is on there. And if I double click on that, it will give me uh, that information. And it's also bringing me to an item list, which tells me how many are how we have on order. I'm going to go ahead and close that. So let's look at the inventory stock report. So let's close that with our reminders as well and the accountant center, which opened up at the beginning. So let's go to reports and inventory and inventory stock status by item. So if you note that any time the number on hand is less than the quantity, for example, uh, than the quantity, the number on hand is less than the reorder point, it has a check mark in front of it. So if we look at exterior frames, our reorder points five, we have two. So once again, that was on our list. Remember two, because we're going to uh, refer to that in a little bit. We don't have any on purchase order and we want to order at least four. So let's go ahead and place an order to order four more frames for an exterior frame. So we're going to go ahead and start with a purchase order. And we are going to go to the vendor, uh, Perry Windows and Doors. And the item we want to order is frames and an exterior frame. And maybe we know that we're going to need a few more. So I'm going to put in 10. And our price is $20 each. And OK, that looks like it's going to go out. All right, so let's go back and look at that inventory stock report. Now, if we go to frames, you can see that we still have two, but now you're seeing 10 on order. Great. So let's say <clears throat> a few days pass. 
Then we receive the inventory. Now we're going to receive the inventory and not have a bill come in at the same time. So we want to receive without the bill. If you receive with the bill, you have to skip this step. For those of you in my class, we are going to use without a bill because in our situation, the inventory comes one day and the bill comes a couple days later. So be sure to do it without a bill. All right, our, um, we're receiving the goods. So it's from Perry Windows and Doors. It says we have a purchase order. So yes, we want to receive against that order. And we put, it was purchase order 40 and I happen to know the date. And so we're going to click OK. And this actually came in, we're going to say on the 17th. All right. So we're receiving the 20 uh, exterior frames, 10 of the uh, cost of 20, receiving 20. All right, let's go ahead and save and close. So let's say the next day we get our bill. Now, because we did it here without a bill, we can do it the enter bill without inventory. So let's go ahead and our vendor is Perry, Perry Windows and Doors. And we are we received the items on the 17th. So I'm going to select that item receipt. Unfortunately, it doesn't give you a lot of information, but hopefully you know the dates and there's not quite as many. And notice here, uh, it says we received 10. We Our invoice says we're going to pay for 10. So $200, that's all we need to do. And let's go ahead and save and close. And click OK. Let's go ahead and look at a report one last time. Let's go to inventory, inventory stock status by item. And if we look at our frames, we now have 12 on hand and no more on order. All right, so in our final video of our QuickBooks series here, we're going to enter a bill for that. Uh, I guess we already did that. We're going to just do our manual inventory adjustment. So we're going to stop there, and I hope you found this useful, and go on to the next video if you need to.